everyone, so yep, it's been another long break. I took a deep dive into Spark VR and didn't really re-emerge for a while. And to be fair, there hasn't really been much standout games on SideQuest, so this last month I've just been hitting Spark really hard. But I have now found three that are worthy of some screen time, and one which was so bad I had to feature it. So the bad first. Now I won't name this because this channel isn't about bad mouthing developers work and every developer should be encouraged to create something cool and the graphics in the game idea are great, it's just the execution is a little bit squiffy. For a bar fighter game, this was just a little too easy. As you can see by the video, the bots were literally falling over themselves to get to me and in that process, killing themselves. I actually stood on this balcony for a good 5 minutes but nobody made it up the stairs. So if you're the developer of this game, I salute you for all the hard work but you may want to look at this minor bug. So moving swiftly on, no clip VR. I haven't played this myself, but my 13 year old is loving this backroom survival horror game. With a good community of players, he's had hours of fun and laughed at being chased by the monster around the 70s inspired backdrop. Worth a look at just for a workout as you run around manically. So this gets a 10 out of 10 for my 13 year old. So get it now for free on SideQuest. Next we have Gunship Sequel, World War 2 VR Demo. So I can truly say I sucked at this game and spent most of my time getting shot down by the other human players. But when I did get a grip on this game, the joy of actually hitting something and destroying it, even though it was a target that was kind of a static gun to a no effect. But still, this gave me a real big smile. The graphics are on par with first generation PlayStation and the controls are a little bit iffy, but this is still a fun little World War II air combat simulator and well worth checking out. So get it now for free on site quest and look out for me in the skies, well actually more like look out for me going down in a burning ball of death. So finally, my favourite game so far is called Fire Zone. It's one of those games that's one to watch. It's a side project for the developer which means it will either become something quite special or the developer will run out of time or lose interest and it becomes the next AMXR. It just starts as a great game but stagnates over time. I am personally hoping that this will become big for the developer and make them some money to keep them motivated, to keep pushing the envelope on this one. Yes, there is a lot of work to go on this and room for many many improvements but the ideas are all there and the developers hit the mark on most of them. The vehicles are fun to drive and the whole feel is kind of fun and frantic. This is currently free to download on SiteQuest and is coming to AppLab soon, so get in early so you can make your mark. Well that's it, I'm looking at posting my next video in the next decade or so, so if you think you're up for waiting for this, please do hit the subscribe button. If there are any games you think that I missed this month and I should feature, do let me know in the comments below, or if you just hate my guts, pop it in the comments section and next time I'm sat on the toilet reading them, I can hide my tears away from the world, because no one really sees you cry when you poop. Take it easy, see you soon.